You're not really going to come in here and do the gritty, are you? I mean, come on, man. Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Want the real John Chapman, please stand up. So there we go. I can't stand up right now, but yeah. No, don't it. stand up right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, there was another big roster move, and this one, we're going to use this to hopefully learn a little bit. Uh, I want to educate people on all these different terms and whatever. The NFI list, Kalia Davis, um, who was, again, a late draft pick this year, defensive tackle, he goes on the NFI list, the non-football injury, even though he got hurt when he was injured. Very similar rules, but a little bit different. Um, he misses the first four games as well. The main difference is he doesn't get paid. Um, now, they usually they reach a settlement a per diem, uh, as mm. long as he's at the thing, but he's not getting his salary, the minimum salary that players get in the NFL. Also, if Kalia Davis is not activated in the six to 10 week window, he has to miss four games, but he could come back. But if he isn't activated, his season tolls. And what that means is next year would be his rookie year. Mm -hmm. Just like what we saw with Jawan Jennings, where in fact, he's in his third year that he's been in the NFL but he only has two years under his belt. So he has an extra year um, contract obligation on his rookie deal. So that's where Kalia Davis is. Uh, what's up, Rohat? I love it. Um, so understand the pup, four games missed, but you get paid and it counts as an accrued year. What's an accrued season? This is important for contracts. That means you have to be active a certain amount of games. And that's where it gets kind of different. So an accrued season is when you're active or injured for six or more games, okay? I know we're getting a little wordy here, but I'm trying to help everybody understand what that looks like. So uh, that figures into rookie contracts, salary cap, all that kind of stuff. So that, that's why that's there. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. A little yeah. bit. I, mean, I, I get it. So so it's not 10 games. It's only the first four games. Right, and they keep changing it year after year. The NFI last year was 10 games. They switched Understood. that back to four, okay? Understood. Um, also, just other like the pup was six games, right? And now they switched that to four. Yep, pup was six. Now it's down to four. They also changed IR rules. Now there's two IR rules, okay? The IR, if it's before August 30th, your season is done with that team. So that's what we saw with Leon O'Neill. He goes on the IR for the 49ers. That means he cannot play for the 49ers in 2022, no matter what. So usually what happens, they come up with a compensation package. They cut him. He can go sign with another team, get healthy, play in December, January, whenever he's healthy, right? If you go on IR after August 30th, then four games, just like the pup, just like the NFI. And you can come back, but you have to miss four games. Now... Let's get a little weirder. The CBA, they keep adding new little caveats, and that's okay. You have eight players. There we go, four and four. That can come back off of IR per team. So that's it. Only eight. Last year, the 49ers had eight. Um, so there you go. Um, that That's what that is. So hmm. you got guys that can come back, but that August 30th date, that's key. Next Tuesday. 